Because this bloke is trying to tell us that the last wish Puss in Boots is better than the original. I call the bullshit. So let's get into the video and let's go. Hey, you want to see something cool? Have you seen yes. Puss in Boots The Last Wish yet? This is one of the best movies of the entire Shrek franchise, and it's definitely in a totally different league than the OG Puss in Boots. Why, you ask? Well, you're about to find out. Fear us, if you dare. All right. Let's get it over with. Number one, Puss in Boots The Last Wish has some surprising depth. I am afraid. It's okay to be afraid. When you hear about a Puss in Boots movie, you certainly aren't expecting something deep. And that was the case with the original Puss in Boots. This one, however, deals with some very adult and very important topics. These was characters excellent. go through real profound struggles, from loneliness to searching for meaning the in life. The original- Sure, at its root- Shut up. The original Puss in Boots was fucking excellent. Puss in Boots The Last Wish is a comedy, and it is family friendly, but it still manages to deal with the concept of mortality and living life to the fullest in meaningful ways. In one scene, Puss even has a panic attack, which makes for a portrayal of real mental health struggles that we don't see very often, especially in a movie that young people will watch. That is the saddest, funny story I've ever heard. Number two, deeper storylines wouldn't work without a developed cast of characters. The Puss in Boots franchise is, of course, a spin-off of the iconic Shrek franchise. Franchise. While the Shrek movies are excellent in their own right, they never succeeded particularly well in having a well-rounded cast of characters. While many characters, namely well-known fairy tale characters, were introduced, they rarely got much character development or even the opportunity for more than just popping in to deliver a one-liner. Overwhelmingly, the Shrek franchise was about, well, Shrek. There was no room for anyone else. On the other hand, Puss in Boots The Last Wish made it clear that the Puss in Boots franchise isn't all about Puss in Boots, and instead there are going to be plenty of personalities filling out the rest of the cast, like Kitty Softpaws, Goldilocks, and the Three Bears, to name a few. Although, Shrek used to be my go-to date night movie. It did I Could Almost Recite You the original Shrek word for word. Number three. Speaking of amazing characters, let's talk about Perito. I already have a comfy sweater and two best friends. I got everything I could wish for. If you've seen this movie and how much you love Perito wasn't one of your main takeaways, we highly recommend a rewatch ASAP. Perito is the ultimate sidekick. A cute little guy with a heart of gold and a total potty mouth makes for the ultimate best buddy. Number four. Not only did Puss in Boots Last Wish give us the perfect sidekick, we also got the best villain in all of Shrek. While many members of this delightful cast of characters are beloved because of how good they are, we love this one because of how bad he is. The wolf is downright scary, and having an actually scary villain only acts to make this movie richer and more interesting. You are death. The film- Okay, I can back this. That wolf is fucking wicked. ...does surprisingly have three villains, and not only are they all great villains, but they all work together very well. The wolf does, however, stand out as the worst of the bad. Come on, he represents death himself. Doesn't get much scarier than that. As far as we're concerned, the wolf blows Humpty out of the water. Number five, oh, from the wolf yeah. to Perito, the A-plus cast editions brought these new characters to life. While we love the new characters the film introduced, they'd be nothing without their voice actors. Of course, Puss in Boots just wouldn't be Puss in Boots without Antonio Banderas reprising his role. I laugh at that! <laughs> Salma Hayek Penalt's return as Kitty Softpaws was also a welcome one. Softpaws. Kitty Softpaws. Despite beloved returning voice actors, adding A-list actors like Olivia Colman and Florence Pugh filled out the cast even further. And of course, Wagner Mora made the Big Bad Wolf the perfect amount of big and bad. If it isn't Puss in Boots himself. And Harvey Guillen made Perito, well, Perito. <laughs> <laughs> Number six, the cast of the these bones. characters sound like themselves, but oh. we have the amazing animation to thank for how they look. Standout unique animation isn't necessarily what we've come to expect from the Shrek franchise, yet The Last Wish has definitely exceeded expectations with- The Shrek franchise, you need to lay the fuck off of it. You know, like, Shrek's old these days. What was the original one, like 2001? That's older than I am, fuck you. This visuals. Talk about the animation. It combines the expected 3D animation with hand-drawn animation. Love Shrek. This creates a lot more visual interest, as well as playing into the movie's storybook feel in a way that the franchise's previous movies haven't attempted. Number seven. Speaking of the old storybook feel, like its predecessors, this movie has plenty of fairy tale inspo. The Shrek franchise was known for its parodies of fairy tales. Yet, if you're a fairy tale fanatic, The Last Wish may be even more up your alley. 
This movie introduces new fairy tale characters with much more character development and allows us to watch them going through real life struggles. Goldilocks deals with loneliness and struggling to find where she belongs. Jack Horner from the poem Little Jack Horner deals with his own privilege and greed. It's nice to see these characters included, not just as a cheeky joke, but actually as fully formed characters with much more depth and realism than in their source material. Number 8. You may have heard about Puss in Boots The Last Wish's incredible accolades. And if you haven't seen the movie, you may have been surprised. The film has a whopping 95% critic score on Rotten Tomatoes and, and a 94% audience score. It's also nominated for the Best Animated Feature Film Golden Globe and the Oscar. If that's not enough incentive for a Puss in Boots movie night, we don't know what is. I am Puss in Boots, loved by one and all. So, how do you think Puss in Boots The Last Wish stacks up to the rest of the franchise? Let's talk all about it in the comments, and if you love videos like this one about all your animated favorites, be sure to like and subscribe to The Things Animated for more. I don't know how I feel about the very good points he's just made throughout this film. Especially because he's saying it's better than Shrek. I hate that he's made a really good point. Fuck it. Ah, uh, well, he's right. <laughs> if you enjoyed the video, guys, make sure you hit that sub button. I hope you see you on the next one. Uh, peace.